Yeah, so it's Pimp My OS here, and um, decidedly I might do these three videos today, or the four remaining. So on my plan, or on my schedule, um, are a tiny guide to WoW private servers, World of Warcraft private servers, um, not how to make them, because my friend Konchti does that, and I already gave you a link to his uh, YouTube channel, otherwise it's under other awesome channels on my page. Um, but today I'm going to show you about uh, different, I'm, well, generally in this topic I'm going to show you about just h different private servers. And um, after that, yeah, we'll see. Maybe iLife, uh, maybe uh, iMovie 11, we'll see. So, um, the first thing, this might confuse some people, but um, how to connect to a private server. And by the way, I uploaded my video of ScreenFlow 2.1.4, and here's Hero as well. So, um, first thing is how to connect to a WoW private server. So first, what I suggest you do is go on Extreme WoW or ex Extreme List. Okay, and that's the um, Extreme Top 100. There you go, and you could bookmark this or whatever. And then you scroll down and MMRPG and you go to World of Warcraft. And it'll give you private servers, guides, guilds, free servers. So, uh, and free servers are private servers. So, if you want, you can have an all GM active server. Um, you can have all these types of servers. But uh, on this list, there's one called Wow Dark, and this one is really, really, really fun. Really fun. I play on it, and uh, if you click on one of these links, it gets you to this and. Yes. So I have I have the I have the admin status because you can you can donate to receive free GM status. I know the the main guy and so um he gave me admin status. And I could also help you in game if um yeah, if you just PM me. So, first thing off, um how you do it is you go wait, I'll just show you how to connect first. So how you would connect? Oh man, this is bad. Um, how you would connect to this private server would be that you go on the main site. So here's the main site, WowDark.com, right here. And then you go on New Account. And then you just fill in the stuff, create account, and uh, t say what you are. And I, I'm Wrath of the Lich King. You put that in, and it's not that much information. The main, the the admin of the server, the root admin of the server does not give out passwords, so don't worry about that. Next, when you've created your account, wait about one to two minutes. Then, search for something called Realm List, and there it is. Dot WTF. That's how it's going to be. But I'm going to show you how to find it. So how you would do that is you go into Finder, New, and then for me it's Applications. Down. World of Warcraft, data, ENGB, or ENUS, depending on where you come from, and there it is, realmless.wtf. And normally, it has a lot of stuff saying, yeah, um, uh, wow-europe.com, set patch list and everything. Delete everything except for set realmless, or you can write this in yourself, and write in set realmless wowdark.com or if you're joining another server just put in the the address of the server here without a www just put in the address of the server right here and half the time on the web pages they also say it so set realmless or you can go on they always have connection guides and here you can download wrath of the lich king your patch mirrors and see normally it looks like th it looks like this logon.worldofwarcraft.com and here you can just take this and yeah, or you can download the realm list that they made for you. So then, entering the game, you just uh, go on the World of Warcraft app. Um, I'm actually going to do this manually. So you just go here. But the thing about private servers is you got to make sure that you never open the launcher because the launcher is going to is going to update your WoW version to a newest version that you don't want because World of Warcraft releases versions very frequently, and so do not do that because some private servers are not ready for the next version, so to say. So here I'm just going to log into my account. Okay. Um. 
it might be a bit laggy because of screen flow. But yeah, here are my characters, and they're, it's an automatic AD server. So here's my favorite one. It's Bazooka, level 80 rogue. And you can also have add-ons and stuff, and I'll show you more about add-ons. I have a little add-on package I made on curse.com. And just a second, and so, enter the world. And yeah. So, this is how most servers look. They're quite highly populated. And there's the thing that they call the mall, or the shopping mall. And here you can get anything. So, you just look here, is it, for example, sorry, um, this person here is a two-handed swords weapons ven ven vendor. And at the beginning, you get 9,999 9 gold. And then you can buy stuff. But I'm a rogue, so I can't buy those. Yeah, so um, this is the server, basically. There's, there's, there's the shopping mall. And here's all the trainers. Here's the flying trainer. And there's more equipment over there. And then this guy right here, that's the portal master. And he brings you to places. So if you want to do Gurubashi Arena, for example, you just click on it. He'll ask you if you're sure. And you'll go there. Let's hope that there's less lag here. Less lag. So here's the arena, for example. It's always There's always people in it. I've been only once there where there was not. And you'll always find someone, if it's a rogue, a paladin, whatever. And it's pretty nice. And plus they have player commands, meaning that Players can enter commands, like for example, I can enter dot mall. I'm an admin and GM, but I don't have my GM badge on right now. As you can see, it just says Assassin Bazooka and doesn't say GM. So as a player command, I can type dot mall and it'll bring me right back to the shopping mall. So that's the first thing. And next, I'll show you a tiny bit about how the GM thing works here. So after you've donated, or in my case, I just got this because of knowing the main server owner, so what happens is you'll be able to get a, a lot of commands, and it, it recently auto-broadcasts stuff, donate and receive GM commands, donate your gear, special command access, unlimited honor arena rating points at wowdark.com. So I can do .gm on, and my GM badge goes on. Here you can see it now, GM, it says GM Assassin Bazooka. And then I can do teleports and all kinds of other things. And there's also a list of commands that you can have. And here, for example, is GM Island, just to show you that I'm not faking. And here you can have the whole shopping mall again, except that here only admins are allowed to go. Yes. So it's really nice because there's really low lag. That, well, there's no lag practically whatsoever. And they've got exactly the same people that are in the shopping mall. And you can't really die here. Plus, you can test out anything. There's training dummies that you can summon and all kinds of other stuff. So, I'll tell you also about my macros and other things in World of Warcraft. And that's pretty much it for WoW Dark. So, I'm going to just quit. And, um, yes, so that's for how to join a private server and about WoWDark.com and generally about private servers. So, there you go. That's it. I'm PimpMyOS and see you next time.